what we're talking about oh, is these self-driving cars and how you feel about them basically driving you. I say yes, because I'm lazy. Personally, I love going to you know, New York, LA, and getting a limo or a town car and having just take me around all day and focusing on my business. Mm -hmm. You know, So to me, that's a luxury. I'd rather do that. There's nothing like feeling the road when you're driving, you know? So for me, being driven around kind of takes away the fun. I'm going to wait till all the kinks are worked out, all the bugs. When I commute in the morning, mm -hmm. you know, I see some of these uh, crazies out there. No, I would not want you know drivers this car in that situation. I'm not sure it would be able to react the way I react. I still want to be able to control my own destiny, man. You know, you're giving up your independence. Can you imagine like somebody that's always, you know, 85, 90? Then they go buy one of these <laughs> and they're playing their music, but right. they ain't really moving. <laughs> Inside, they're going to be saying, like, I would have gotten in front of that person, but this car is going to go to Safeway. That's right. Right? This car is not going to pass somebody at 100. How much of our humanness are we willing to give up to technology? Jobs are disappearing. The, you know, your cars are being controlled by the technology. And what's left for us to do? It's going to affect a lot of industries, you know, like transportation industry. It's going to impact the jobs. Mm -hmm. Technology is all around, but, you know, uh, these cars is here, and they're going to be here to stay. I know I sound scary, but I don't even like riding rides at, commu at the amusement park, right? So I'm going to wait till everybody have their wrecks. You know, I will not get mine early because I'm not going to be that guy that says, oh, man, you heard about Doc? Man, he bought one of them new ones, man. It ran him into this building. <laughs> I don't want to be that guy.